All right, everybody. Uh, as y'all saw, it ran for a little bit, and then uh, developed a fuel leak. And the problem was the O-ring was no good. So I got these green ones from AutoZone and suck ass. It's like they don't carry OEM O-rings for fuel injectors. They just got like a whole bunch of freaking different sizes and you got to choose. And none of them freaking worked and just leaked. So I guess tomorrow I'll go into the junkyard and pulling them off the car. I got this from somebody. I'm not going to say names, but... I don't know, I should have checked it myself, but I didn't check it, and it turned out the fuse was blown, so I took the one off of my, uh, my daily driver and used it, and it worked, and just put it back on already, but y'all saw it run, it ran good for the first couple seconds, I mean, it was fine, and I don't know what to say, I mean, it sucks, I gotta wait till tomorrow to finish it, but I gotta put the seats in tomorrow. Uh, go find out how much exhaust is going to cost me to put on. And then uh, go get these O-rings. I, I just put these headers on because I'm going to have to bungee cord this piece up. Just so I can have these headers down so I can drive it to the exhaust shop. And then when I get there, I'll just give them you know, this piece right here. And just tell them how I want it. And then um, that's pretty much it. And just break it in I mean it sucks but that's what happens and other than that uh, I don't see any oil leaks it wasn't even on long enough to even build oil pressure I'm sure oh. but that's it for now finish up tomorrow and uh, see what happens see if we can get her down the street tomorrow for sure some bungee cord exhaust see how she runs but till tomorrow see y'all later